As a student of the Bible, I know that you consider what's in the text that you're studying, but do you ever consider what's not in the text? The case of the missing Joshua. If you go to Hebrews chapter 11, you'll find what we call the Hall of Faith, and it recounts the exploits of Israel's heroes and heroines, and that everything they did was by faith. Well, tucked away in the Hall of Faith is what I like to call the Hall of Faithful Warriors. You find there people like Samson and Gideon and Jephthah, and David, but one standout leader is left out. And that makes me kind of wonder why? If we think rabbinically, why was this leader who was trained under the great Moses, he led the conquest of Canaan for the children of Israel, and he established peace for the 12 tribes in their God-appointed boundaries. You know his name, Joshua ben Nun, the son of Nun. Though Joshua was not mentioned, we look at the surrounding verses and look for clues. We look just before the Hall of Faithful Warriors, as I've called it, and we find not Joshua, but Rahab. The spotlight is on a heroine of Israel. By faith the walls came a-tumbling down, as the old spiritual says, but Joshua's not mentioned. It's certainly his battle. Could the spirit that inspired the writer to write wanted Joshua left out, maybe just so that the stereotypical male warrior mystique would be broken, and instead we would see that it was by faith and not by man. But the one that bears particular attention is the one that says, out of weakness we're made strong. Now wait, we think of Joshua as the strong and courageous leader, and he was, until you look at the record and realize that God needed to speak to Joshua over and over. Be strong and take courage. Be very courageous. Do not be afraid, Joshua. Do you see that God was speaking courage into Joshua? And you know he does the same for us. We need him to speak into these frail human vessels so that we'll be courageous. God spoke Joshua's name. He spoke the name Yehoshua or Yoshua, which is saying the Lord God's name himself is salvation. That's the name that God spoke about this humble servant leader, warrior, Joshua. In fact, it's the same name given to Jesus of Nazareth. His name was Yoshua. We commonly pronounce it Yeshua. And in Christian theology, we do look back and see Joshua, Yoshua, as a forerunner, as a type of Jesus himself. That the same Holy Spirit who inspired Joshua to battle, to fight on behalf of Israel, is the same Holy Spirit who inspired the Hebrews writer to leave him off the roster. Could it be, just maybe, the Spirit wanted the spotlight on only one Joshua? If you'd like to know more, you can find our teaching resources at Bridges for Peace. Dot com. Thank you.